A recently released video provides some insight into one of the most alluring but little-known drones potentially designated as RQ-180. The U.S. Air Force's RQ-180 White Bat is thought to be the newest spy drone in the category of high-altitude, long-endurance drones. Hell. Till now, only a few photos of this drone have surfaced so far. As few as three sightings of the drone have been noted, one over the Philippines and two over America's leading flight test locations in California and Nevada. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what's known about the secretive RQ-180 White Bat drone. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Media reports and social media posts have speculated over the years about the existence of RQ-180 white bats, and there have been a lot of rumors regarding the physical shape. A new video clearly indicates that the drone is not a figment of the imagination, and the Pentagon could be on the verge of revealing its white bat very soon. The video, titled Heritage Today, ISR and Innovation, goes into the U.S. Air Force's intelligence gathering and espionage capabilities throughout the last decade. At the end of the video, a well-known drone, Global Hawk, arrives and a caption says, the days of balloons and biplanes have been replaced by white bats. In the next frame, the video, released by the PACE, or Profession of Arms Center of Excellence of the U.S. Air Force, provides the animated technical drawings of the RQ-180 white bat. RQ-180 was secretly funded through the U.S. Air Force's classified budget. Northrop Grumman was given the task to build the aircraft after a competition in which it defeated Boeing and Lockheed Martin. Northrop Grumman is believed to have been awarded a development contract for the RQ-180 in 2008, with deliveries of low-rate production aircraft beginning in 2013. There are reports that the drone has already been fielded in certain areas for confidential missions. The aircraft's nicknames, even if unofficial, are Great White Bat and Shikaka according to a report from Aviation Week, which has been confirmed by further sources. Viewers may note that Shikaka is the name of a fictional, sacred white bat, which appears in the Jim Carrey movie Ace Ventura 2 from 1995. As discovered by Aviation Week, the U.S. Air Force has established the 74th Reconnaissance Squadron at Beale Air Force Base, California, to operate the RQ-180 remotely. The insignia of this unit includes a huge white bat, which corresponds to the RQ-180's claimed nicknames. RQ-180 seems to be an upgraded variant of the RQ-170 Sentinel and is larger, stealthier, higher flying, longer range, and has more endurance. The RQ-180 addresses a need for conducting penetrating ISR or intelligence surveillance reconnaissance missions into defended airspace, a mission that was left unattended with the retirement of the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird in 1999. As per reports, 
it is equipped with an AESA radar and passive electronic surveillance measures and may be capable of conducting electronic attack missions. The RQ-180 shows a shift from UAVs that operate in permissive environments such as the RQ-4 Global Hawk and MQ-9 Reaper to ones that can perform missions in contested airspace. RQ-180, like RQ-170, is based on the concept of a flying wing. The RQ-180 is believed to have a cranked kite layout like the X-47B, but with a much longer wingspan, perhaps as much as 130 feet or 40 meters. Northrop Grumman has indicated that the wing is more scalable and adaptable than the B-2 Spirit's flying wing shape. The RQ-180 is believed to be about the size of the Global Hawk, which weighs 32,250 pounds or 14,630 kilograms and have similar capabilities of endurance of around 24 hours and range of 14,000 miles and 22,000 kilometers. It's expected to have better all-aspect broadband radar cross-section reduction features compared to previous stealth aircrafts such as the F-117 Nighthawk, F-22 Raptor, and F-35 Lightning II. RQ-180 has been designed to penetrate an adversary's state-of-the-art air defenses. It also functions as an advanced communications relay node, integrating a suite of next-generation data link technologies, including those of the B-2, B-21, F-22, and F-35. While the RQ-180 has been shrouded in mystery, there has been information that already indicated its existence, like satellite imagery of Area 51 reportedly shows huge hangars that could house larger wingspan of the aircraft. It's also speculated that the RQ-180 may also be related to the expansion of Northrop Grumman's production facility at the United States Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. On June 20, 2019, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, shot down a United States RQ-4A Global Hawk BAMS-D surveillance drone with a surface-to-air missile over the Strait of Hormuz. Iranian officials said that the drone violated their airspace, while U.S. officials responded that the drone was in international airspace. It's evident that with the advent of advanced air defense systems, non-stealthy drones would find it difficult to survive. Near-peer rivals of the U.S., like Russia and China, have invested heavily in air defense systems, and RQ-180 is being seen as a counter to this, and an official revelation may be coming soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.